This scenario is all about credential theft. Now in this case, we've got a disgruntled employee that happens to sit next to his uh, supervisor's desk. And he looks over one day and notices that there's some passwords scribbled onto a yellow sticky note on his desk. So he's thinking he would like to try to see what systems he could get into with those passwords. So he waits until his supervisor goes out of town and then he tests those passwords in several different applications. Lo and behold, some of those applications actually do respond positively to the login. So he goes ahead and takes some of the data that he was looking for and he decides it to sell it on the um, open market. A big problem with insider threats appears to be the fact that employees think they are entitled to data. A Ponemon study recently um, examined insider threats and found that employees tend to think it's acceptable to take and use intellectual property when they leave the company. In fact, about 62% said it was um, acceptable to transfer work documents to a personal device, and over 50% did not believe it was wrong to use trade secrets from a former employer at a competitor. Okay, how do we mitigate this situation? Well, because ACME uses Junos Pulse Access Control Service, which is a NAC, there are strong access controls in place and a baseline of expected behavior from various IDs and roles. So this information is used by Juniper Secure Analytics, which gets alerted when an unusual number of login failures across different applications are all correlated. Even those login failures appear to come from a credentialed user. The GOIP capability also signals that the true credential owner, uh, logging in from another country, he's on travel, remember, creates another sim sim uh, signal. This kind of capability becomes increasingly important where the lines between a trusted device and a human behavior is often hard to um, uh, delineate. So Secure Analytics triggers notification to Juno's Pulse Access Control Service to push credentials to a remediation web page or phone number and cuts off access until it is resolved. 